Hi, so today I'm going to try to uh, answer the question, why do we use the Greek alphabet in math? Well, it's for convenience. Throughout the world, mathematicians, we speak different languages, we write differently, and we're, from, we're just from completely different cultures. However, the Greek alphabet gives us a sort of common language to speak. Now, what I mean by that is that someone's pi over on this side of the world will mean the same as someone's pi in uh, Antarctica. It's approximately 3.14 dot 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 goes on forever. Um, but you might be thinking, what about a theta? What is that thing can change? Yes, but the idea stands the same. The, a theta up here meaning an angle is a theta down here meaning an angle. Now, another thing you should know is that some of these do have different, uh, can have multiple meanings, like the lowercase lambda. Lambda, and you, you'll learn this in AP Chem uh, in high school, that lowercase lambda is going to be wavelength when you first see it. Or it might be backwards now, I'm not sure it's been a while. And when you get to nuclear chemistry, it's going to be equal to the radioactive decay constant. So, well, what do we do? What do we do then? Well, we also know, depending on context, which one to use. So, like I said, if you're using nuclear chem, that person is going to know radioactive decay constant, not wavelength. And it comes with knowing what you were doing in math. So, now I'm going to answer the question, but why Greek? Why not some other language? Well, who wrote our textbooks? Well, back hundreds of years ago, it was the upper class were the ones who knew the math well, not the lower class. And the upper class spoke Greek. I don't know whether they chose Greek because it was a way to separate them from the lower class or because, like I said, it's convenient to be able to speak to other people from across cultures using this. It's probably the, the first one. But, you know, it's useful now, so. Thank you.